Hey everybody, what's going on? Today we're going to be reviewing the Harbor Freight oil pump or transfer pump and it's the one for that goes for around seven dollars at Harbor Freight and before we get started, safety first and that includes goggles, gloves and of course boots, uh, something waterproof. And alright, so we're going to get started. This is the multi-transfer pump and as you can see it's a little handheld pump, uh, completely manual and um, we're just going to go ahead and transfer some oil that's been sitting out back for a long time. So uh, this is kind of the ultimate test here. There's a bunch of different oil in there. Um, and it's all oil. I believe they're, the viscosities are different, but it's, it's all oil. So we're going to get started. And as you can see, I'm using a bit of force here, but... And just kind of getting it started and that's some thick oil there so yeah as you can see I'm really pushing down on it and then all of a sudden oh no um, the hose blew out which was totally my fault um, I wouldn't I wouldn't put this on Harbor Freight um, because I didn't have the hose in deep enough and of course I didn't even check from the last time that I used the pump uh, the last time I used the pump it was for something uh, more lightweight so once again that was something that was on me and um, as you can see once I start pumping again after I've seated the hose that it does not pump it does not pop out so here I'm just pumping and you can see that there's there, you know there's a lot of pressure uh, in this pump and that's a good thing because that means that this pump can handle a high amount of pressure now I wouldn't go so far as to like really push it to the limit but for this kind of application it's it's really good and if you're gonna use it on the car which I would highly recommend using it for something like um, when you buy differential fluid and you're gonna fill you're gonna fill uh, your differential you know something that doesn't have a fill hole then this is the great pump this is a great pump you can't beat it and so now we're gonna go into like um, I guess convenience and you can see right here that I left the pump on the bucket because it doesn't really have a stand but as you can see it fell so it's it's in the department of you know can it, like take care of itself uh, it's kind of hard to, to just leave sitting around so um, if you know if there's like a if you're worried about like being ultra clean or anything like that then that could be an issue because you're gonna have to kind of keep an eye on it depending on you know how how deep or saturated you or how deep you put the pump into whatever it is you're trying to transfer fluid so that's just something to keep in mind that you will kind of have to babysit it um, it doesn't have a stand although you could make a stand and uh, that's something that I'll probably do uh, for future use but um, here you can see it's you know that pressure is still really strong and um, I'm just switching it up you know because my arms are getting tired and as you can see like I'm not faking this I mean look at my right arm there you know that's yeah you can see that uh, I'm really uh, giving it my all without trying to like blow the hose again but at, I mean compared to when I did when the hose did pop off it, it's it's holding up a lot better so here I am changing positions again just because I'm um, getting a little tired I guess that still hasn't changed the way that I feel about this pump I still think it's really awesome because I know what it is and it's a hand pump so I really like it and here you can see where I hit a pocket in the bucket where the oil was a lot thinner and so now you can really see how good it works so like if you have some really nice uh, you know diff fluid differential fluid then um, it's great and I got up to get some paper towels and uh, yeah so now let's talk about cleanup and once again, depending on how deep you put those hoses in, cleanup is probably the part that I don't like most about this pump. Um, as you can see right there, it's it's just it's just a huge mess. So um, yeah, the best thing to do is just kind of prep your surface so that 
you know, whatever falls on the floor, you'll have like some paper or something like that. So that's what I would recommend. Um, but yeah, I use the little uh, kind of plastic container to, to hold everything in. But um, if, to do, if I were to do it again, I would layer down the ground with some paper towels. And then here I'm just pushing out all the o old oil that's in the chamber, that's in the cylinder, that's in the pump. And then uh, after that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, wipe everything down. And um, but there there were no leaks, um, none whatsoever from the pump itself, which was great. Aside from the hose just coming out, which once again, it was my fault. I just didn't have the hose seated deep enough. Uh, nothing leaked out. Everything was was nice and dry, uh, I, I guess you could say, um, which was really cool because that was one of my main concerns, you know, like with something like this, it's like what you just kind of plug it in. You don't even thread anything, but it was great because nothing leaked out. And so that was awesome. And so here I am cleaning this uh, tube, you know, cause it's been sitting in the bucket and uh, you know, this pump in this situation is actually really cool because if you do have a large bucket full of oil or something like that, then you don't have to drain the whole bucket or you don't have to transfer the whole amount of whatever it is. You can just transfer enough so that you can pick up the bucket and pour it in, you know, so that um, it doesn't, it, the bucket isn't too heavy and then that can cause you to, to like uh, spill something or drop the bucket. So uh, that's one thing that the transfer pump is good for is to just kind of like, take off you know maybe like a quarter or something like that so um that's 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 the kind of cool thing about it and uh as you can see here you know i'm just kind of just getting that last bit that's that's one thing that um you know a, another i guess drawback unless you really uh you know force all the contaminants or whatever you have out of the hoses but there will be some leftover. That's why I put it in a plastic bin like that, just so that whatever does leak out, uh, it'll just go in the bin and then I'll just clean that up. But here you can see that I've transferred enough oil so that I can just pour the rest into my new container. So that's what the transfer pump would be really good for instead of using maybe like, I don't know, a spoon to transfer everything out, which would probably take a really long time and be really messy. So um, yeah. And my, you know, my final thoughts, go get it. It's great. Buy like four of them. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.